there are lots of tools on the market for making charts. My favorite is Google Drawing, but another one you might want to consider that has a bit more functionality is something called Draw.io. So in Google Drive, I'm going to click on New, More, and then Connect More Apps. Once in here, I'm going to look for Draw.io, and this is the one I want, so I'll connect it. And I should be ready to go. You might get some pop-ups like this to make it default for the files that can open, and it might also ask you to authorize as well. So make sure you just click Accept and OK on all of those types of things. All right, so now we're all set. So now if I go into New and More, Draw I.O. is an option for me to create with. So when I click on that, it will open up. Now in their documentation, it says you can make your own templates, but as of right now, I've been unable to find how to do that. So in the meantime, there are templates out there. They're pretty robust in advance, so that is completely up to you to choose to use them. But otherwise, you can give it a title right here, and you can create. And I need to authorize this, so I'm going to remember it, and authorize. Here's the pop-up I was talking about. It looks like it comes at this point. And now I'm ready to roll. And I will have my Draw.io platform. Now, there's a couple of really cool things about Draw.io that I like. First one is this. They have a stick figure actor right away. That, to me, is amazing. Uh, but the point I want to make about the stick figure is, as I make him bigger and smaller, it may be very hard to see, but there's these little dots all over the background and it's a great way to measure out your surface that you're going to put things on. Okay. They actually simulated this interface very similarly to Google Drive in terms of the menus and the toolbars. On the left here is where you have your shapes and different things you can pull out. There are some more advanced ones as you go. So that all depends on what you want to do with this, but it does really cover a lot of things. So you can make pretty cool looking diagrams with this particular program. On the left, you can influence the color and size of some different things. You can add text, and then you can choose how to arrange these, whether you want to flip things, turn them, etc. So pretty advanced controls, which are nice to have. You can also pull in images. And the best way is going to be by image URL. Uh, so if you do a quick image search, you just right click and choose copy image URL. So like right here, right click, copy image URL. And then you'd be able to put that right in there apply and we have a picture of turkey hooray now my stick man was selected so that is why he disappeared all right up top you have a few more options the pretty generic ones that you'll notice in most applications like this and uh, the best part is you can share it just like with any Google product and as far as I can see, at this point, there are no restrictions as far as the paywall, which is great, uh, being December of 2015.